as well. Paint shells out. This creates some space, but now stuns out and tends with an initial one. And also pushed forward his gate crash. Could possibly dive deep into sight when necessary, but it's still Sentinels. A hell of a grasp on this site and worried about the flank as well. They'll take out one, but now it's just nature as tens take down Kusta. Like from Tens working out very well so far. Dapper also able to move in and pick up one for himself here and ultimately close things out with the final kill as well. The entries are quickly. Sean as well, definitely catching some of the action working its way up B main here, but also going to have to be cautious of the shock guards working their way out. Decided to deploy the Seekers. This will be a good choice. They all immediately get countered, but the problem is Tens of the gate crash goes to the wrong spot. I think he was hoping it would have been a little bit deeper in the site. Not the case, though. Of course, right into Sean's crosshair. Easy pick for him. Let's see if he can make it multiple because those shots through the wall are slowly chipping him down, ultimately to the point where Shazam can now re-peak, taking him down. Possible Nebula being deployed here to block out GMD, and in fact it will. It's not an all-obscuring smoke, so we can play to the edge of it and see. We might be able to get a little bit aggressive against Sen play that's boiling out now onto this site. The Sentinels have done such a good job of breaking up this site. GMD trying to play for the cross from elbow, but everyone attentive to the situation. They knew that smoke was going to come down, and Made sure no one was sitting behind it with open arms and they'll be able to get that frag. Nature now, very similar straight to what we just saw his fallen member, GMD, go down in exact same fashion. We'll see if this smoke is going to come down or if Nature is going to push through. He will. Takes the garden fight, able to get one. Can he get the second? It's not his chance. Instead, it's Sentinels to take both of them down and leave Kusta inside of a 1v3. This rifle round was supposed to be the saving grace for them, but now, only that one rifle round of Gen G so far. They're going to get it yet again here, so we'll see if change, uh, things change up, but here it happens right now. Tens <laughs> catches him off guard, pops right out of the ult, and shatters this man's skull with a shorty. Oh my, what a play from Tens. Another Hunter's Fury out here for Sentinels. It will start locking up the site, and it's just an ult fiesta. They pitch three in, and Tens is going to get yet another kill. Gen G can't do a single thing about it. Fiber's pit down in the back of the site as well, as all of these players trying to work into CT well, they're all going to get chipped down due to decay. They can't do a single thing about this. Michael, as well as Nature, locked clean of the gas. Zam going to be using the Owl Drone nice and early to see what Garden's looking like. They'll pretty much detect immediately this is not going to be a full buy oh. coming in, but Nature, what a shot. He's not going to be the only one he oh. finds for himself either. Unfortunately, uh, GMD does end up killing Nature as the page shells get a little bit too close for comfort, so we'll have a rare team kill pop up as a result of that. But ultimately, Sentinels have still been able to control this situation, even with that play on Crash back towards the execute here, as Sean has another opportunity to try and slip in behind. It's going to be GMD to try and control space with this uh, raise utility. Paint shells out first, and Showstopper now. No RPG. Oh, Tens yeah. literally goes right in behind him, and Sean shuts him down. Five Saw the gate crash on the other side. An amazing play from Tens to be able to stop that ult, but now Gen G finally have an opportunity. Seekers out, trying to find any of these stragglers as Sean still slotted in behind the Sentinel's offense. Second time now that GMD has been isolated out and taken down by the Dimensional Drift, so he just can't catch a break, it seems, over these past few rounds. Regardless, though, plant on the ground, but the Sentinels are in established post-plant scenarios. That dark cover could be great because the only other angle they had against this just got killed. That was Dapper over towards Garden. They can hard hold this defuse now, more than likely get it. They're trying to spam it. There we go, Shazam finds out the first target trying to defuse here. Nature looking to support, but he can't maintain. He's the- Genji, when you look at the investment they brought to this round, just mainly upgraded pistols. And that is it. Sick will group up back over here at B main with his other teammate. And going to be working with Zoms. They were spotted out earlier. Sean was able to use the dog to push forward. He's going to use the guiding light now. Gets the extra intel that they are indeed still pushed up onto B main. But he has no support. He's still alone here. He's got to be very cautious with the way he plays his forward position. Because he can get caught out if he's not careful. But instead, he's going to catch six. The flash as well to find oh! Zoms. And it works. Sean shutting both of the players down to try to commit to the push. But he's got more on the way from Hookah. And unfortunately, is finally going to fall to that. Tens takes him down. And the plant will go down onto the ground. Look at how low both Dapper and Tens are, though. This is incredibly winnable for Gen G. 2v3 is definitely doable for both of these squads right now, but it all starts now with 10, so he'll be able to get the initial frag. He's looking for the ace if he can get it. No. The stun out and Sentinels! Especially around this garden area, continually ran by Sean. Hasn't been 
worst thing in the world, continually finding frags, and finally Gen G getting some big ones when it comes to Hookah. Michael also procuring one as well. This is looking like the best Gen G round that we've had thus far, and it is going to be. In fact, it'll be their first round of the entire. I'm going to see the pick come out pretty much immediately after that, though. That, I believe, is coming from the Sentinels. So, Hookah's position could be big if he specifically oh. finds out on the Dapper, but can't get the lock. Zoms instead gets the kill and the second to follow that one up. Nature does trade on the sick, but that's just seconds before Nature himself goes down. It's a 4v3. We've got the pit deployed out on the site, and in just a moment, the plant should be going down. Yeah, Sentinels are fully set up for this. All of Tens, Manning, U-Haul. Everyone else set up for this spike plant. GMD more than likely just simply waiting here. Doesn't have paint shells or anything else, all except for his blast packs, and that's what he'll use to try and create some space inside of there. Now, ult out for Skies. Michael will get one strain on through. Ten's trying to assist now as they have not been able to get this spike down, and it's been dropped, actually, right outside of the A site. It's going to be up to the Sentinels now to try and win this out in a three-on-three -three engagement. Minimal time now as both of them are recouping what has happened thus far. Obviously, that Viper ult still working out in the defensive fa or, excuse me, offensive phase. The Dapper gets taken down, that'll drop, Tens gets in behind him, he makes the play, it's a distraction, but GMD, he slides out from showers, breaking them, they're gonna fully buy out here, they lose this one, we could very well see them onto an eco, but here comes the dimensional drift play, and he's going right past most of his enemies, he brings himself out, but that does leave nature in the open, the showstopper not gonna be in the right position, but the follow-up from Sick is good enough, the problem is Kusta still holding on top of Truck, it's the immediate counter onto Sick, and still keeps us even in a 3v3, Zoms as well is stuck here, here by the portal. He knows Sean's on the inside of it. He's got to wait for him to make the play. Sentinel's now slowing this down to a halt. Can't blame him either. Minute and five seconds on the clock. And that's a big thing about Valorant as well. We usually have these initial, you know, hot match or hot rounds where we'll just hop into site, try and find some opening frags, and then all of a sudden things slow down as they try to shift the goalposts. And that's going to happen yet again here. Taking that spike, rotating it on over to B, and trying to get this plant down. It's going to be the era to clear the site for Shazam. If Sentinels yet again procure full site control and go for the post plant in the 3v3. Spike planted. GMD the first to arrive, which wouldn't be too surprising to the folks at home, and already pretty close to his own showstopper there too, but probably not going to get the chance to deploy it inside of this specific round. Zom's setting up those last remaining stars he has in his inventory to block out the re-entry routes there. In fact, only one going to be done by him, another done instead. Genji's smokes bringing out there on their omen. Not going to pay out though, as we see two more come in for Genji from the Sentinels is all going to fall to Shazam. Shock Dart's in. That doesn't work, but the peak outright does. Recon Bolt also in there. It's going to get destroyed. Shock Dart to the corner. Won't connect on to Sean, and Sean as well will be able to... Right at the time, we would expect the aggression to start working its way out through a main by the Sentinels. Kusta will get a spot through the one-way off the Poison Cloud here. Takes down tens. That's probably one of the most aggressive players, and usually a big part of the entry utility for Sentinels. So they're not going to have that luxury anymore. Kusta able to shut down another player. The responding hunter's fury does come out from Shazam, but he's not able to find a lock on anyone. The good news is Zoms did find an entry on the Kusta specifically, which has allowed them to move up at least to U-Haul. But still, a lot more work to be done. And they're still down a player. Oh, I'm getting that deja vu feeling. Right here. Gen G and more specifically Nature shifts on over to Showers. We saw how that went for GMD the last time. It's a 3v4 now for the Sentinels as they're attempting to get this play to go down on A. Remember, Zom's wall will eventually go down as well as it strictly just blocks audio and that's going to happen right now. Nature already with this move. They're waiting on this toxic screen to go down. Gen G already with the forward move. Try and slide into space. GMD early on the showstopper. Not able to get much done. Now down to 20 seconds. Paint shells out to prevent the plant. GMD will be able to get one. He knocks out the Sova, looking for Zoms as well. He'll get the flick onto that. Spike down, paint shells out. Does Dapper eat it? Tries to slide around, but it's a pre-fire through the wall. They knew he was going for the spike, and Nature will. Not a good halfway across the map. Utility start to come out on B. Wouldn't be too surprising if he takes that at any moment. We see the rotation commitment start to come in. Problem is, though, it's going to arrive way too late here, especially with the gun power still in play. We're going to see, though, Michael does take down Shazam, and that's full control of the site. Gone over to Gen G. Now it's all up to Sentinels to retake, and they only have the defender spawn angle to work from. Well, it's a great start here for Gen G, getting that spike down and putting the Sentinels in a precarious position here for the pistol. Down a man, and now trying to defuse. Doesn't seem like they'll be able to stop it. Sick, taking quite a bit of damage, and finally, they'll be able to get him off of it, but he's got it halfway done. Only thing is now, Sick into the one versus three. Very minimal HP. He's trying to round the area, seeing if he can get any disjointed 1v1. So, out of A for the time being. 
Sam walking right up to a potential target here. He's gonna go up against Sean, wins the fight to oh. end the follow up against a Michael. Very well played by Shazam, and the action for Sentinels isn't even over just yet. Zom starts to fend off the showers push, only goes one for one though, and is gonna let Nature out. Sick seems to not be aware that Nature's gotten out as well. The misread on the situation is costly for the Sentinels roster here. Let's let their opponents into the site, likely going to allow them to get a plant down onto the ground here now as well. They're still being cautious, watching out for this lurk from Shazam, which is coming through the A portal. Maybe the only reason they're holding off from going for the plant right now, but problem is wasting all this time. Now lost any opportunity they might have had to get the plant on the ground in the first place. Kusta is completely surrounded. He's lost his only other team support. Tries to bait out. Looking like Genji are feeling the commitment just as of yet, but I believe that that's starting to change here as they figure out their last few moments of strategy before really committing to this strat. Oh, this is rough. We see the gate crash come out from tens, but he's teleported all the way to B. When the take seemingly is A right now, but luckily enough, it's been slow moving for Gen G. They haven't moved out of showers as Dabber's been able to hold them off here, but they've been able to use the wall to at least get a plant on the U-Haul truck. So good news for Gen G going into the post plant. They've taken down two Sentinels members now, and this is looking like a free round for them if they're able to win out these engagements. But it all starts now with Shazam, and he's able to get two. Shock dart gun, it does doesn't matter, he's good for it. Tens now with the ult, he'll be able to clear out everybody. He's done exactly where they are. They see two shooting right through U-Haul with the Hunter's Fury. The dimensional ship going to go away in just a second. Who's it trying to get the swing? He'll win one, but not the second. It's down to the one versus one. Rotates will arrive ahead of the rest of their own team. Not going to be the case. Gen G beats him to the punch. They will have plenty of time to get that plant down. But the rest of the team, also here from the Sentinels, seems to not matter much, though, for Kusta, as he gets himself a nice double, triple overall on the round, accounting for the kill he got earlier. Now, only 10s and sick left alive to try and pull off a retake here. And for them, they've worked their way out pretty far onto the site. But this is all by design. Gen G want the play to go this way. Now, they want to take these angles very far back. Because they have the player advantage, they can just play off of each other on the current angles. Make sure they trade their way to victories. They have more than enough players to do so. Double swing, for instance, there against Tens makes quick work as a one-for-one -one transpires. Sick, now the only player left here. Trying to really just race up to the site. Catches Sean unaware but now really out of time to even get onto the spikes we just gonna hop into the portal get out of here and the somehow tens and him will continue to maintain pressure at the edge of long zoms will start the retake though as he takes down nature that will also destroy the pit that's a big pick for the sentinels there is that'll render it useless oh goodness, pit down and tens Someone that doesn't miss very often, but apparently his misses comes in packs. Is, well, he won't miss that time around. He takes down Kusta. It's a 1v3 now for Gen G, and more specifically, Sean. And as well, Spike is planted for him. Still has some guiding lights to be able to use. Guiding light out, but he blinds himself immediately. Swings into it. He'll take down Shazam. Looking for the frag, but tens. Find anything on the inside of the site. Sentinel still for rotate opportunity to work their way over and they're finally going to get it now that they see the full commitment coming in from gen g here sean as well ready to fend this off seemingly he's going to get the spot on the tens or rather i should say nature gets the spot on the tens though as he can't creep in the same way he's been doing on the attacking side dapper though in a corner there should have been able to get away with more but it's not going to be the case nature makes quick work of him and leaves only shazam alive who unfortunately is oh. well too far detached from this action to commit to much so we tried such as the positioning dapper sitting back closer on the B site by the pipe. Considering that though, we still have a full commitment from Gen G to the garden entryway. Three of their players, in fact, gonna commit to that right now, where the other two are grouping up in mid, probably gonna be working their way in through hookah. It's a one-to-one -one start though, so not too promising for Gen G here, especially with Dapper still being an issue on the inside of Hookah. Takes down Kusta, is gonna look to take down the two aggressors working their way in naturally for mid, but that gets stopped by Sean. The showstopper's out, but it's gonna go way out to left field, and nature gets away with these two kills for three overall on the round. That leaves only Zoms alive and Gen G with a very high possibility of securing the 12th round over the next few seconds. All right, so explosive from Sentinels trying to regain control here, but simply cannot get it done. It's going to be the blind from Sean getting light out into spawn and ends up taking as they're able to secure their 11th. Only one away from OT now. Fantastic idea there from Gen G. Uh, you know, try and force everybody over to B, start putting down some utility or just showing face. 
Absolutely. It seems as though they're going to wait for a Guiding Light from Sean, though, and that instead will be the Execute Marker. Sick trying to move forward inside of this Viper's Pit. He knows he has a target on the other side, goes for the flick, but it's Michael who's just that much better in this situation. Genji trying to find a way out of showers right now. They've pushed to the back of the site as well. No real chance for the Sentinels to try and combat from any facet here. Finally, somebody tries to take a peek for short, but no. Dapper also met with the same fate. It's down to a one versus five five for Zoms to try and get the Sentinels out of map one. Let's see if the hero play can come in from him. He's going to get traded out as well. This is a quick execute on to B. Let's see Michael trying to sneak around here to really hold and maintain full control over the B site. Problem here for the members of MG that have pushed themselves forward as we have a quick retake working its way in from Snowman Kusta. Able to counter that out though with two picks on his own here. Now pushes forward. Do his own talks, and he's got to figure out the position of sick, and unfortunately doesn't have the most HP to work this with. In fact, he may be backing up towards mid right now. We've got the barrier orb that's going to reveal him for just a split second, but that's all. Notice that dark cover though is going to prevent him from actually seeing just how much pressure is working its way down. The good news is sick can have a barrier orb. The problem is he can't play the angle as well as he did in the previous round. So some members of Genji are going to be able to sneak through into kitchen. Dapper sees you managing it for the most part. He sees he's able to go three for one on a trade. Try and spot out tens. Not gonna be able to find him so easily though, as he's down below snow pile. He's able to find out Mikhail, but no, Mikhail get not gonna be only bit of action we might see early on here. Sick trying to push himself down the tunnel. There's actually nobody with Overwatch on needs. See if that's true though, because he's also got pressure coming in from Zoms on his left if he's not careful. Well, this is troublesome now for Sentinels as Shazam will lose Kitchen. Hunter's Fury out to try and stop the plant from happening, but it's going to be a counter's Hunter Fury as well as Sean pushes forward for Gen G. He'll take down Dapper, and that means that a spike plant more than likely coming just around the corner. It's down to Zoms and Tens, and this is honestly the utility that you want on Tens to try and handle this. It's going to be a paint shell in right at the feet of Mikael. He dips out. He'll be able to live as he bounces right inside of the box. Tens rounding out though, has to deal with this Viper's Pit now as he works the outside. Gonna be the screen up yet again here for Viper as well, so making things quite easy, but Sens bursts right through it. He knows that more than likely the Viper is in here as well, and the Boom Bot will assist in that. Trying to figure out exactly where he is, but Zoms, actually Kusta, will rotate on the outside of Yellow. This has been played out so well so far from Gen G. It's down to Mikael, and Mikael alone up against Tens. He can't find the space. Obviously, Sentinels want to right this ship. Gen G does not have the opportunity, at least okay. in the Sentinels' eyes, to try and win this series. And that's exactly what Tens is delivering with that round. A singular bullet takes down GMD in mid. Casual from Tens, I like it, but we're going to start to see more frags start to roll out from Sentinels' camp as well. Two more pickups from them, but they responded by both Sean and Kusta as they find their own frags. Ultimately still in the favor of Sentinels, though, at a 3v2 right now. Sean and Kusta still left up alive on the attack. They've got the control swept out from Yellow. They just have to be very cautious. They don't necessarily know what the full setup looks like on the back site. Very worried about players that can peek out from one of those lanes and shut down the rest of this play. End up seeing the rest of it move forward here. Sean with a very nice find against Shazam equalizes out the player count. Down to a 2v2. Paint shells as well will force the rotate from Sick out into the open, and Sean will also catch that. He's up to three kills on this round. Here's the flight from Tens. First kill's a miss, but the follow up is successful against Kusta. One more to take down. Will he get it? No, the showstopper. Two, so Zom's deploying all of his utility to fend off that B aggression. Should be able to maintain this for the rest of the round. It was looking like we were starting to see a rotate from Genji towards the B site, but really rotate out of any of the areas that you want to. That one mostly focused around yellow, but that's not even the focus of the round because the spike goes down on A instead. And it's going to be a 4v5 in favor of the Sentinels and make it a 5v3 now as this retake is starting off strong. Nature will finally be able to get one. It's a showstopper out for tens. It's he'll claim Kusta. It's all down to Sean on the re-entry from Maine. So many of these late flank attempts that have lost too many of their teammates. This is going to be another one here from Sean as he works his way in. The paint shell's at least able to get them off the immediate defuse. He's going to blast himself back into the site, but ultimately into a wall where it lines up. The will get spotted out by the recon dart, but quickly cloud bursts it to make sure it won't get any additional info away from this. It's still Gen G trying to figure out the best path forward. GMD has found an opening left. as he's worked his way up pipe for free. Now be in the site, needs to have the rest of his team support him. He'll be able to spot out one player, but dies before he can make an impact. Zoms will take EMD down, and then Hale 
able to move in, find himself another pickup here before this comes down to the wire. The rotates are here from Sentinels, and they have the advantage as a result of it. Down to a 3v2 nature, evens us back out. More importantly, the spike goes down on the ground, and a miss from Shazam on the right click gives nature an opportunity to frag out again. Mikhail backs up, though, too close to the wall, and will spot that out. But as he moves in to try to play instead, Zoms has some bit of an idea as to what is going on. So he will very quickly back away before any of those players swing and start to send themselves out to the B side. It seems Zoms was confident enough to make the call to his teammates, too. So the full rotates are on the way. And they'll have that confirmed by Shazam's push outside of A. As they rotate in, we're already starting to see trades unfold here. Genji needs to get this plant down quickly. I believe the pit's going to come out here as well. I did hear the audio cue from it, but not seeing it just there. It is going to be coming out across onto the map here now. But with the death against nature, we're definitely going to need that extra cover to play for. Looking so solid right now for the Sentinels. Shazam, though, on the flank with the op. Ten's trying to hop into the Viper's pit. They'll finally get rid of Kusa, so that'll go down. It's all up to GMD inside of B main, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Sentinels with some awesome picks coming into the B style. Blast pack right into sight and then get shot by Tens. That's what he can do. Blast pack Don't out worry for about Tens the distance to try and hold him back, as well as paint shells out as well. And no, it's going to be Nature, actually, that works his way up through 410 to take down Ten. Speaking of which, Shazam with the trade, Kusa with the trade as well. It's just back and forth across the board. And Sentinels finally remaining. getting something done here. It's all down to Mikael, who ultimately will just have to wait for his teammates to rotate in. It'll be a full five-on-five post-plant here. And Sentinels will have more than enough time to set themselves up. They will be cautious, though. Oh. Kyle is working his way in for a pinch, but he's very much being watched. However... This timing can work out so well. Kyle walks in. He's oh. going to be able to get the free shots on the Zombs, but Zombs wins it anyway. Nature and GMD, though, both pick up wins outside on the site itself, ultimately drifting this further into the favor of Sentinels. GMD has to be the hero here, but no, Sick denies the clutch. And instead, it's going to be another win. For Owl Drone, so much info coming from the defensive Owl Drone there of Mikhail. Either way, though. All down to the Sentinels to try and get this Execute to go off, and it starts off without a hit. Shazam getting one, but GMD finally with the refrag from Raptors. He's going to continue to be able to hold this down whilst Kusta works the cross in through Maze. He'll get yet another. Mikael tags one up for a third in the Gen G camp. Now down to a 3v2. Dapper finally fighting fire with fire. He'll take two as well. It's a triple for him on the round, and it's all left up to Sean. Paint shell in hand, but chooses to keep it inside of his pocket anyways. And he maintained by Sentinels. They didn't even have to kill a single player to get the job done here. The rest of Gen G is slowly swarming around the outskirts, but they have to be so, so cautious. There are members of Sentinels littered everywhere around this site, inside of the kitchen hallway, the kitchen itself, down towards Pipe. We can see Shazam with a slight angle to counter out rotates from Snowman. Not able to use it to the best of his own capability, though, as he only gets that little bit of damage onto Nature, but there we go. Ben brings the kill back home to finish off Usta. Tens as well, finding Sean. Kale will be able to sneak his way back in, at least getting him on top of the spike, but that's just before he goes down to Zoms. Tens with eight shells showing up again, finishes off Nature, and GMG just sitting on the outside of this pit. He doesn't even know how to approach this so unfortunate. His eventually still get pushed out from the- Mikael's gonna burn away his Hunter's Fury. He doesn't end up tagging anyone, and Dabber gonna follow through with some of his own. Not able to secure the frag, but looking for it, he gets Sean. Tens flies in, he'll get one of his own. Can't follow it up, though. GMD, this is one of his shrouded steps across the door. They're prepared for this retake now, but it's not in their favor until Nature is able to get Sean back up, but they know exactly where he was rezzed. Not able to try and secure it, though. No one being daring enough to try and dash forward or anything of the sort. And Oh, well, you see exactly why. Shazam's almost in some bad spots, but instead gets that tailwind, able to dash away. Nature now with two of his own, and it seems like a wrap here from Dapper, but GMD's good for it. This is an amazing retake from... Uh, Gen to go towards A, but when they work their way in, having the control, it seemed to play the post plant, but Gen G had the utility for the retake to work their way back out there. Really put the pressure back on to Sentinels and make sure they hold on. Sentinels are lined up for a push out on the B. Very hesitant about it, though, for reasons you might expect. This is a tough angle. They've got a lot of smokes working against them right now. Currently, the dark cover from GMD, but We've already made progress on a first kill with Kyle getting taken down about 10 seconds ago. GMD gonna try and stop the swing now, but he can't land the shot. Zombs takes him down. It's nature completely through the smoke, but instead gets that first response on to Tens. But it's just a small gesture at this point. Sean might be able to get something going with the paint shells. And the other issue is Tens is now back in the fight as he's been revived. 
Oh, this is terrible right now for Gen G. It's a 3v5 after that res. Make it a 2v5 now. Dapper's gonna try and go huge early. So, or do you have insight on that? It's gonna be a B stack here as well for Gen G. He'll get stunned out as Koost is actually up and onto the boxes. He'll be able to take out Sick on the entry. A good read as well with the recon dart. So they'll have to shift and go somewhere else instead. It's going to be a flood in through Garage. The Cloud Burst to be able to assist as well. But as we know, Sean has already worked his way up long using that guiding light earlier on. They're going to have to try and clear this out. He steps out at a perfect moment. He'll claim one. Can he get the second? He'll at least assist. Kusta trying to get it done from the back of sight. It's a beautiful pinch right now onto Dab is finally he'll been uh, put down as of late but zombs is going to start that up immediately as we start talking about it down into the default position here and they'll start setting things up at least after utility wise to try and have some play inside of the post plant that well underway here though sentinels controlling the situation for now which is going to be dangerous for chenchi we nearly saw this round unfold or we did see this round unfold in the previous said keeping the guns or keeping the same caliber of guns for the previous round here just because the money for those dead oh. players it's going to be a little rough and that's also going to be a bit rough there dapper a clean opener two kills going all his direction there and sick makes it three with another one just outside of short that's GMD going down. Nature and Sean, the only two players left alive here for Gen G. That seems that bonus round not really going to be going their way with the way things have won currently. They are set up on the A site to counter out this aggression. It was looking for a moment like Sentinels were going to rotate out and oh. go towards B, but nah, it's a 2v5. They're going to dive in on this one when they know they're at sub blue, but surely need to get rid of these coins and try and find something out on this site. Haven't been able to find out too much insight just yet. A curveball out. Do they check the corner? They will. Tens dashing right into one of his cloud bursts. He does it yet again. One standing right in front of him, but the initial one goes away. He'll lose his life because of it. We have Sentinels members shooting at Sentinels members. Everyone's so confused as to what's <laughs> happening, but it's all going to come down to Kusta in a one versus three. And Kusta, you better run for the hills, my friend. That gun is way too expensive to try and work your way out of this one. Yeah, if anything, you could just post up here at the at the tunnel and try to see if he can maybe get himself a whole lot of time to play though is the thing so they'll need to make a decision soon with like 40 seconds left to get their spike down yeah c site a little too hot there and also the seekers coming out from sean so that'll read out the sentinels members but who else will be kusto with a hell of a flick as he takes down shazam a reset here from tens is sean Holding things back inside of short. It's going to be Kusta yet again for a beautiful frag, but not before Tens takes him down after he updrafts on top of the boxes. Tens trying to make it work for his team out of short, pre-firing everything he possibly can, but Sean with a beautiful read will shoot him right through the dark cover. It's all down to Dapper now instead of a 1v3, but he doesn't necessarily have the time in order to make this happen. So at least as far as I can tell, but Kusta still establishing the angle. Try to punish this early pressure from Sen down long. We saw the difference maker that Kusta could be inside of these previous two rounds. Initially playing C long and nobody pushes into him. Next round, it's multiple frags on A long and all well, it's happening again in between these two. But this time it's Tens and Sean as Sean trades out Tens. Now down into a 4v4. Kusta will still maintain his presence on A long though. As the Sentinels have pushed up short, he'll be able to procure himself Shazam as well as the spike. That's the read that they need as we'll be able to at least see that go down. No big momentum shift here from Gen G though on defense as they're simply going to sit on their hands and see what the Sentinel response will be. 50 seconds left here, so Sentinels, once again, going to be forced into making a choice sooner rather than later. But the longer they sit back and wait, the more opportunities they seem to give over to Gen G to make the aggressive plays like what we just saw from Sean there. He strikes true, brings the Sentinels count total down to only two players alive here between Dapper and Zoms. Zoms just going to commit to the inside of Garage as C seems like the best option for them at this point, and I would generally agree with that. Nature will block off the backside to make it seem like they have more presence and, of course, slow down the pacing of this point any further. In fact, they're still down a player. Kusta trying to capitalize upon this now. They're going to end up using the Cosmic Divide, and on top of that, a Gravity Well will stop Sean from pushing directly past it to immediately punish the plan attempt. For Dapper, though, still trying to spam in and work past this point but won't be able to do the damage necessary in fact here comes sean right through the cosmic divide and the rest of the team is not too far behind seekers are out to find the positions of the players in maybe get the neural theft going as well to get that information doubly so but even so getting on the defuse what? is a bit of an issue here right now for genji mikhail tries to go and then 
big shifts once again here. So they're looking towards C long. It's gonna be an ult for sick now. He'll get rid of the camera. He gets blinded though, but not that big of a deal as Tens dashes forward on the flat. They're gonna take out three members of Gen G here at the very beginning of the round, and it seems like the Sentinels do not want to slow down anytime soon. And it looks like they're doing more of the same here as well. Pushing forward inside of short, we'll be able to get the cameras out. And uh, once again, we're going to have very similar execute properties here for Sentinels. It's six with sick with the run it back. We're going to have a dash forward from the jet as well. And still a pure, a perfectly whatsoever. The Sentinels on their attack. And Genji, last defense here. Trying to get it done, they'll at least get a read on what's happening currently inside of a lobby. Gen G, and more specifically, Sean with a huge round, one they've been desperately looking for. Also going to send out the Seekers, and he knows that Shazam's close. It's a dark cover now to try and get him out. We'll see if he's able to do so. Trailblazer out to try and hunt him down as well, and he'll actually get the heck out of Dodge. Sean does not get any insight onto his current rotation either, so it's up to the remaining Gen G members to try and shut this down. Nature with a beautiful shot on the tens, but it's immediately refragged towards mid. Yeah, that's the only other thing. So we can't give the outright call that it's working it towards A. That's in fact why we're going to see, I believe that was a dark cover sent out towards Garage and trying to bait them into thinking that they are indeed still going for either the mid oh or the C side. But meanwhile, tens is all alone on A, at least upstairs he is, but he's been able to rip two player heads off anyway. Nature and Kusta both gone. Tens really taken out by the shock guard. He's able to dodge out of the way from the damage before he's taken down anyway, but tens with two more as well, only to go down to G on the final kill. Now for Gen G, it's slow and steady. That trade happening there has locked them out for the time being, sadly, because Sean is most of their utility when it comes to trying to find intel. Yeah, they do still have the camera of nature, but you can run a dog around and try and find some people. Makes Spike it a lot down. easier. Yeah, GMD Spike. will initially get one, but Zoms follows up with two of his own, and that's spike control, like you said, inside of Sewer. See what Gen G's response is, but as of right now, low in economy and only having these two rifles. This kill's gonna matter a lot. Can Dapper get both? He does! And set and comeback. is gonna be a light bot round from Gen G. So once again, they have to use the raw amount of numbers they have to push out towards long in order to make any sort of step forward. Unfortunately, it's not working out too well. That's a good trade from GMD though. And now Sean, with the free presence up short, is able to get a beautiful shot against Zom to take him, take him down as well. Seekers are going to work their way out. They do get the intel that at least one player is going to be hiding out through the defender spawn tunnel. Didn't get great intel as to Sick already being in heaven, but they can probably safely assume that someone is here. I'll just have to confirm that information, get everybody in position, counter out the retake. GMD actually just taking the fight outright from heaven there. Neural Theft going to come in here from Dapper also. Gets the position of Sean. He's going to assume the other opponent is below him, and that's the right choice. But now, how does Dapper go back out? How does he jump out this window? There's no easy way to do it. He's going to get cloud bursted as well here. Keep in mind, time is ticking as all this goes away. I think he's made the decision to back away from this one now. He is working his way over towards the tunnel, but the problem is time is getting far too low for him to get both of these kills and commit to the retake. So he's just going to pick up the exits here. Clean right now and is being a big difference maker for Genji aside a couple of the other members of this roster too. We're going to see Sick try to burst his way out into the open tens right behind him. It doesn't work for three quick kills. One of them's the run it back, of course, as they work their way forward. Shazam is also able to go one for one, but these trades do not favor Sen anymore at this point in the round here. They're down into the 4v2, the very same situation situation that Genji was dealing with in the last half for so many rounds in a row and now finally Genji gets some revenge here he's gonna put that pressure right back on his sentinels dapper with the first good refrag though against Sean will open up the potential for these guys to start pushing back out well for the sentinels onto the retake now I have utility down here for Genji as GMD pushes himself forward with the shrouded step an opportunity here to continue to hold this down. Astro Utility in tow as well as Kust has got the cross. This is not looking too hot for Dapper as well as Zoms as he's the last remaining member. Right there when you consider that only one of the Seekers actually worked its way into the site. So they knew this was going to be a light defense as they worked their way in and they were correct to assume so. The rotates are here from Sen but once again this is going to be tough to get back out onto the site here now. However, despite that fact, they've gotten three untraded kills here. Kusta finally responding with one but it seems like it's far too much 
pressure far too quickly from Sen, and they retake it. Worried about every single facet of this area, and Sick going to get a fantastic read onto this. He sees the cloud smoke up top, but does he know that Jet is more than likely inside of this? He'll work forward instead. It's Kusa with the first kill, but Sick with the refrag. Curveballs out, but now it's Tens as well to hop inside. Sick and Shazam and all of the Sentinels mostly hopping right into C. They're going to continue this as well. They still need three rounds, and I highly doubt the Sentinels will let them do so continually on the A side. It is going to be no more guiding lights and no more just Sean and Genro, who's been a very prominent player in this matchup. You still are going to have other things to play for. Now, the Cosmic Divide being the most obvious one that now works its way out onto the C site. There's immediately players in position. Sick, though, splitting up this attack, and this is going to be problematic here for Genji. It comes down to just Shazam as well as Zoms to play out the rest of this round for Sentinels, and they're holding Nature. Now the last hope here for Genji. He's going to move forward.